The vertical farm concept started in a classroom. Traditional farming, everybody's familiar with it. You know, you, you plow the land, you plant the seeds, you water and you fertilize and you grow and then you harvest and then you ship. That's normal farming. Now, vertical farming does the opposite, <laughs> except for one thing. Vertical farms still make your food, but they employ closed loop agricultural technologies. That means all the water is recycled, all the nutrients are recycled, and the only thing that actually leaves the building is the produce. The big question is who's going to be doing this, all right? Who wants to do it? Who needs to do it? And who can do it? Countries that don't have agriculture, Iceland, all the Arab Emirates, you've got a lot of people and you've got almost no land. Here's a wonderful way of conserving water and providing food for everybody. What about the places that want them? Not necessarily that need them, but that want them. China is one of those places and India is another one of those places. They have been discussing this for years now and the technology has finally caught up to the desire and now I think they're going to start building them. What if you had a building, a vertical farm that's so, that specialized in one crop like we have outdoors? corn, rice, wheat. Imagine the ancillary industries that would spring up around these farms in an urban setting to employ even more people. In making from wheat, you can make flour. From flour, you can make bread. You can make cupcakes. You can make fresh baked items. And it comes from that building. The biggest social benefit is that everybody gets fed healthy, clean food and we can use it to remediate water so you can have safe water and safe food wherever you live. I've had no negative reaction to this idea whatsoever, a, a very positive reaction to it. And, and I, I think the idea is about to develop into reality.